Welcome and welcome back everyone. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Swaja and I make DIY home decor videos. I do refurbishing, thrifting, DIYing and sometimes I just make it with my own ideas. So if you like to watch those type of videos, you will certainly enjoy the videos that are posted on my channel. Don't forget to check out right after this video and let me get started with today's video. So today's video is about fall decor. I know I'm a bit late for that. I was trying to work on some other projects. So for today's video, it's gonna be three DIYs, no dupes, no thrifting, everything on my own with Dollar Store Park and that turned out amazing, amazing. Yes, I've seen quite few on Pottery Barn that has a fall napkins or probably candle with pine cones, cinnamon, some other spices that we use it for pumpkin pie. I saw that candle before and then yes, I tried to apply to one of my projects as well. For some reason, it did not turn out really well. I made three, basically. One is fall napkin, that fall kitchen napkin that probably you can use it in kitchen or probably table napkin too. It sort of depends on you how do you want to use it. Um, second one, I tried to upcycle uh, the remaining parts of my previous project. And third one is actually candle. Now that candle is actually inspired from Pinterest, I guess. I was just scrolling through Pinterest and was showing me some Christmas candles. And from that, I actually got an idea from to make the fall candle. So that is an actually like with cinnamon sticks and something that looks really nice and that gives you fall fragrance. So it was pretty amazing. I enjoyed that the most. And that's in the end of the video. So make sure you go and watch up until the end of the video so you can get to see the candle. I hope you will enjoy and let me get started with today's video. Hello, hello from Voice Over Pucha. So, to get started, I had this white napkin which I initially got for my black print video. If you remember a few minutes back, I posted a video about how to do block printing on clothing. I actually got this napkin for that. It's really nice, plain white, textured napkin that actually enhances the block print. Somehow the wood block that I had was not working properly that time. So I decided not to use this napkin for that and I decided to use it for some other time which is today. So for today I am actually trying to make napkin for fall. All I'm gonna do is just make a pumpkin doodle on napkin I'm probably gonna keep it in my kitchen just for decor. Now to make pumpkin, I had to mix up my colors with just a pumpkin color. I had pretty bright orange and I'm, I was pretty sure that it's not gonna look nice with my fall colors. So I had to make mix orange, yellow and bit of brown to give a warm tone. I had to mix other colors and different proportions and I actually got my pumpkin shade. After that was my first step to draw pumpkin. It was my very first time ever that I'm making a doodle. And if you guys are aware, I am pretty good at art and crafts, but not certainly good at painting and drawing. Somehow I could manage it. Let me tell you how I did it. You make two ovals side by side and you make one big oval in the center that can cover and join the other two smaller ovals. So basically I was making a pumpkin patch where a lot of pumpkins are together, one of them has fallen down or something like that. This is how I tried to make my pumpkins. Now to make a stem I needed a dark green or greenish color. I did not want to go for a darker green because that would probably not go with the vibe. We are trying to make a very nice colorful fall vibe here, right? So for that, I decided to go with a normal green color and that was looking stunning, amazing with the pumpkins that I made. It was perfectly matching with fall vibes. I was still missing some parts. I decided to make a vine on the corner of the napkin with my basic standard brush that I had. 
and that actually worked really well. So I tried to make wine with the same green color that I had. It was amazing. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I made the entire napkin like that. Look how amazing it looks in, in sun. I did not have much time to make the final product video but this, how, this is how it was looking it was amazing amazing and it was looking perfectly fine with the plating too now let's move on to the second diy if you remember in my last video i made the photo frame propagation station now following the same in the propagation station i had this glass so i can reuse it well i'm gonna use it in this video so for that i'm painting the glass with fall colors not exactly the way i made it made it for pumpkin a little bit more on a yellow side yellow brown sh brown shade side you know, when you go to wedding and they have a customized wedding signs or wedding table numbers on acrylic sheet. Yes, that's that's the one that I'm trying to make here. So on the back of that side of the glass, I'm trying to make this fall patch. And on the front of the glass, I'm going to make beautiful fall calligraphy. Just because it was glass, it was pretty hard for me to stick my acrylic paint on that. Now, as you can see here, it's pretty transparent and it wasn't covering the entire surface so I had to let it dry for about five to six minutes I used my hair dryer to dry it and I let it dry for about two coats and for the third coat I added one extra layer of just and just orange color that was looking pretty amazing just the way I have seen it in wedding signs unfortunately I couldn't do the calligraphy on that one because it wasn't sticking the color properly but I actually made this sign. It was looking beautiful too. So I would not say that's a fail, but not turned out just the way I expected. Now moving on to third DIY, this is fall candle. And this is actually my favorite among all. For that, I had this small bowl, which I got from dollar store about dollar and 25 cents. And to get started, I needed this pine cone in a smaller size so I cut down the excess of pine cones because it was too strong which was not hard to cut it entirely and then I cut the cinnamon stick absolute necessary for fall and then I just break it into two pieces Now this is my little trick to remove any stickers I just heat it up it comes off very easily just like that once, after, once it's done, I actually attach the candle wick to that in the, in the exact center of the candle. And then I'm trying to make this candle in three or four different batches. So for the first layer, I added a fall color. You might see it as a yellow and orange, but when it turns out, it's different. Now this is a bottom layer. So once that was dry, I actually tucked pine cone in because that was the biggest piece I was going to use it for this candle. So I took that and I added a normal white wax to that. That too, another one inch. Pine cone can actually get stabilized in that. So once it was done, I added a bit more wax and pulled probably three fourths of my candle. And then I had to wait for it to get completely completely dry because I'm going to decorate it after that so once it was completely dry I took my cinnamon sticks which I actually turned into three pieces and I took that into wax as well now I'm going to put another layer of wax in that so doesn't really matter it just your design just the way you like just the way I'm doing it right now And once you have finalized your candle design, just sprinkle a tiny bit of cinnamon powder. And yes, this is me, classic Buja. Spilled it all over, but yeah, this was the final look of my candle. 
was amazing amazing the reason i used orange in the bottom is because candle actually burns out entirely it's when it's in the end of the candle it will show fall colors it would be amazing i hope you've enjoyed the video today's video i hope you've enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel because that helps me a lot to create my own youtube community Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.